this movie tells a story about a young and poor Willy Wonka who discovers that the chocolate industry is run by a cartel of greedy people. First of all, this prequel has a decent production design, cinematography, and costume design. Unfortunately, everything else is disappointing. The director of this movie was also the director of both Paddington movies, and you can feel that he wants to bring the same approach to this movie. Even specific sequences seem crafted to directly recall those in the Paddington series. This movie has the sweet and good nature of Paddington movie, but not the material that justifies it. It's one thing to abandon the source material, it's another to replace that source material with empty platitudes left over from other better films. It fails in its attempt to compress the plot of both Paddington films together as it feels belabored in its plot construction. The movie delivers its plot as if it doesn't seem like we're really supposed to care, we're just supposed to consume. Everything about this new musical origin story is derivative and cloying. It might look sweet, beautiful, and full of joy, but it becomes overwhelming, hackneyed, and monotonous rather sooner than later. It's an aggressive charm that wears you down rather than lifts you up as it's easy to hold attention to but straining and failing to emotionally engage. The movie fails to adopt any identity of its own, lacking in any of the sparks, flavor, and ingenuity that made Willy Wonka and his candy so famous in the first place. Part of his attractiveness lies in his mystery, his unpredictability, and his harshness. Without it, we have one who merely keeps us occupied but not hypnotized. The movie tries to acknowledge the darkness inherent to the story, but fails to understand that truly embracing it, making its emotional moment all the more rewarding. The script itself has little awareness about what it wants Wonka to be, transforming the character completely within split seconds so it can half-heartedly sell emotional beats. The main actor is a strange choice for Wonka. He often feels out of his depth when tasked with being both charming and mischievous. He makes exaggerated faces, but he constantly looks like he's acting and badly, rendering his turn and action akin to the sort of parody. He's incapable of hitting either his comedic or poignant notes while his dance moves is mediocre and his singing voice is underwhelming. None of the songs are memorably affecting or funny as well. Overall, this movie is such a disappointment. It's not worth to watch this in theaters. Just wait on your streaming service.